Trini Girl Natural. Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. Coming to you wet again, about to do a wash and go. And I'm trying something a little different. <laughs> I'm trying Caraveda. Of course, I've tried the gel before, but I'm trying like more of Caraveda. I'm trying this Caramel Souffle Moisturizing Detangling Curl Defining Leave-In Conditioner which is like a spray leave-in which I've never used as a leave-in before today and I have the Pure HD High Definition Gel so let's get started um, this is kind of bizarre to apply but basically I guess you just spray everywhere and keep spraying the, the claims on the label are kind of really silly <laughs> But we'll go over that later, I guess. But basically, it's talking about how it's gonna pop and be fine and all that. But for me, it's just, and based on the ingredients as well, it's just a moisturizing leave-in spritz. Nothing more, nothing less. So, I just spritz all around and smooth the first batch in. Just hopefully to trap some of the water, because honestly, the water defines my curls more than the spray. After I spray it some all around my usual M um, wipe the products around and then work it in because there's a lot in here. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing now. So it does seem moisturizing, softening, it has a nice scent. But defining, no. I would say no. So if it's something that doesn't define your hair as much as water does, I, I wouldn't consider it defining and that's where we're at here. So it's extremely lightweight moisture. So they said to just keep spraying as much as you need. <laughs> so I'm gonna take oh. <laughs> So I'm gonna take advantage of that. Lord. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let me review a little bit and then get ready to add the gel. At least I know I like the gel. So I rewet it a bit, which I think works out good for people kinky hair and stuff just to have a little bit more water weight and still have some of that leave-in on there so now i'm gonna add the oil let's have a little bit of oil because both products have a lot of glycerin so just to give myself a hope at life <laughs> i'm gonna do this to help it hopefully last a little bit longer so not adding a lot of oil just a little bit that's my sealant oil mix which is mostly almond oil um forget what else is in there but I'm on a little caster, grapeseed. It does have good slip, like my hands aren't going through super fast like crazy slip, what I call crazy slip, but my hands are going through and not getting stuck, so I call that okay slip. Alright, so I guess this is it with the spray leave run on the water. Now I'm gonna add the gel. So this gel is more of a gel cream, I guess, than a gel, but it does actually clump, it does hold your curls and define your curls so it looks like if oh my god is this gonna do anything that's how I felt last time I used it I only used it once before and I used it with a real leave-in no offense <laughs> I used it with a cream leave-in even though it felt like it wasn't doing anything wet it did define my curls and you know clump my curls and add hold and everything did everything I needed it to do when it dried so so if you're using it don't be scared I guess what I'm trying to say because of how you know <laughs> how it doesn't seem to have chops to it it does somehow have some chops <laughs> so I apply my gel like regular outside put it on the outside and then work it through tempted to just be lazy I'm kind of over it right now it's been a long day it's late but <laughs> I'm gonna properly work it through. So I guess this is almost like people who just put gel alone and never and don't put a leave-in. Those interesting naturals who live that life. I guess it's kinda like that, but still not quite. Like I don't know how they do that. For my hair, like for me I want leave-in if nothing else at all. That's it, my hair feels weird. How am I gonna feel defined on the outside but not plump on the inside? Like you know what I mean? I haven't done this smooth truth in a while. But you know. Your hair talks and you listen. So sometimes it's required, desired, whatever. I'm 
sometimes not. It really does kind of feel like if I just have gel in here, like, you know? Like, that's what I can mostly feel or tell is in my hair, the styler. The leave-in was nice, but very, very light. So we shall see when it dries what we are working with. I'm a little nervous, but I have hopes as well. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. <laughs> so this is my result. Sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Loving it. Big, fluffy, soft, light, defined. It is a little frizzy due to that leave-in spray, but overall I love the definition. And I think I even love the frizz because it's just giving me life in terms of volume. So overall I love it. <laughs> I guess let's jump into the product review part. So about this souffle, let me start with the ingredients because a lot of it has to do with the ingredients. So take a look at the ingredients first off. And look at the claims. <laughs> it says your curls will pop from root to tip. So I think he was definitely doing too much with these claims because there's nothing, there's no gelling agent in this to talk about adding definition and curls popping like that. So no, it didn't pop my curls. If water pops my curls more than your product, I can't say your product popped my curls. So definitely didn't pop my curls. But it did add moisture, it did have enough slip. So overall, I think it was okay. For kinky hair, you want to make sure your hair is soaking wet when you're using a spray leave-in. That'll definitely help with the application. And you might even want to re-wet it a bit after. That's kind of optional, but at least make sure your hair is soaking wet before adding the spray leave-in. And of course, look for one that's moisturizing and definitely look for one that has great slip. I did like the sense of these. I love the packaging, just by the way. <laughs> Let me give you a whiff, a spray. This is how it goes on. Oh, now it wants to be. On soaking wet hair, it doesn't matter because you're going to be raking through again anyway. So it doesn't much matter if it jets or if it miss. So my hair did look fine. It did look fairly defined, but not as defined as if I used the cream leave-in. I feel like this may not even be the most defining leave-in spray, so I don't want to generalize it to all leave-in sprays. I just want to talk about this one because I feel like when I use the Jane Carter Revitalizing Leave-in, I get more definition. But I've never used this as a leave-in. This is the first time I'm using a leave-in spray as a leave-in. So definitely one day soon, <laughs> I'm going to try this leave-in spray as a leave-in. So just to compare and let you guys know. If you're into the big hair life, then go for it. Your hair should stay moisturized. So yay for that. It has a nice scent. It's light, slightly fresh, slightly sweet. And I like the texture too. It's not completely water, which is good. It does give you a little something, something, something. So that's good. It is light, but it's not like nothing. But again, it wasn't as anything as moisturizing, defining, leave-in-y <laughs> as a cream leave-in, in my opinion. With it coming out as a gel, it may not be the best for a refresher spray, but if you're gonna use it with like your ponytails or something like that, and just put it in your hands and apply it that way, that might be for the best. So next we have the Pure HD High Definition Gel. And um, you know, I have been raving about this. I had one other video with it, but I didn't mention it by name. So I'm glad to finally mention it by name. I do love this gel. Definitely a good hair week. And it's pretty much all thanks to this gel. The spray was kind of iffy, but this got me where I was going. So yay for that. Let me show you the ingredients. Again, this one is definitely in the top five ingredients. So this is more of a... Big hair don't care summer or spring fall type deal. To me this is big hair goal, so I'm super happy. It's basically a cream gel, so it's not very slimy, it's more of a cream than a gel, but it does give you a nice hole. Like for me, I don't like crunch, so for it to give me a nice soft hole, but a real hole like I can get through the week and no crunch, I'm in heaven, goals achieved, life achieved, so yay for that. <laughs> In terms of the scent, I guess it's pretty similar to the souffle. A light, milky, slightly sweet scent. But I like the scent on both of these. And if you don't like strong scents, definitely go for this. 
I don't think anybody could not like these scents. They're just the perfect neutral, make everybody happy kind of scent. So yay for the scents. I definitely want to show you the HD gel again with a cream leave-in. And I want to show you a different leave-in spray. I'm going to be around a long time, I guess. I mean, the only downside to YouTubing is just how long it takes. But in terms of like ideas, I have like so many ideas for videos. Like, every time I do something, there are like 10 other things I could do based off of that. So in terms of ideas, we're here. In terms of how much time it takes, I don't know. Y'all better tell your friends to subscribe and stuff like that. Because <laughs> it takes a long time. But anyway, so I guess that was it. My demo and review of these Caravela products. I'm thinking I'm going to try the other two. So I was nervous about the co-wash because I wasn't sure if it was going to be cleansing enough. And I was nervous about the butter. Yeah, I think it's called a butter because it... It's a lotion, it's in one of these, but it's like cola butter. I was nervous about that just because I didn't know if it would penetrate my low porosity hair. But, you know, I really love this. And this wasn't bad, so I think I'm gonna try the other two next time they have a sale. If you wanna see more great content, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss anything. Let me know if you've used Caravela. Let me know if you use leave-in sprays as leave-ins and how it works out and if you have any tips on that. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.